What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Sam here for On the Couch, and we're here with our very first episode. And you might be asking, what are we talking about today? But we are going to be talking about the new free-to-play Nintendo Switch game, Pokemon Unite. Uh, Pokemon Unite is a MOBA 5v5. You pick. Uh, we'll go into more details about it all, but just you know, you'll. It's character-based, so it's actually really fun. Very simple. I myself, not being a MOBA fan. Uh, found this game to be really fun in the few days. It came out Tuesday, July 20... Oh, I'm sorry. It came out Wednesday, July 21st. My bad. Uh, so at the time of this recording, I've only had two days worth of playing on the game so far. But this is kind of more or less the thought process of what I had and what my thoughts and reactions were. So we'll go kind of more in-depth, uh, aspect by aspect of what I thought of everything. Uh, for those who are unaware, though, we did stream this, uh, as was recording on Thursday the 22nd. We had myself and Richie playing it with a good friend of ours, so make sure you check that out on our Twitch. You could always catch up on us through there, so make sure to follow us on over there. Uh, so why don't we jump into this? Let's start with the concept of the idea. Uh, when the game was first announced, I was like, uh, ah, I'm not a MOBA guy, not really too interested into this game. But I'll still keep, like, you know, keep open mind about it. Didn't really think about it too much, though, after the announcement trailer. I didn't see too much afterwards. Anything between that and then, I really didn't keep up with it myself. So I can't really talk about the build-up to the game. But we could talk about now turning on the game. I only found out about it midway through Wednesday that it came out because I just remembered. I was watching a friend of ours stream, and he brought it up. He said, oh, the game just came out. You should try it out. So I said, why not? So, download the game. First off, very small game. Doesn't take up too much room on your Nintendo Switch. So, if you're thinking about data saving or saving some memory, that's something you don't have to worry about with this game. It's very small, very nice, very compact. Now, one of the big things, though, about it is you have to have an online connection to play it. So, that's kind of a big downer. So, why don't we talk about now, real quick, just what it was like hopping into the game. So, you're greeted with a... Like a cute little intro video, which is actually pretty cool because they used it as the trailer too, so it kind of ruined the surprise, but you get to see just kind of a nice cinematic opening for the game. It looks very nice, very beautiful. Definitely a good first time watching kind of thing. Uh, you're thrown into a nice introduction. You're in a new area, new region. You know, it's one of those third party regions, but now canon. And it's pretty cool. You know, you move around, simple enough. Tutorial wise now, you hop into the tutorial and they make it super, super easy. You start off with the easiest character in the game, Pikachu, because, you know, mascot and all. you got to, you know, always start with the Pikachu. But they teach you how to go, and it's pretty simple, you know. You hit A to do your main attack. Then you're using the, uh, right, to the right bumper and right uh, trigger to use your super moves, which isn't too bad. Move around with the analog stick. The C stick, you know, controls where you're going. And, you know, it's pretty intuitive. Now... With that, though, it's a little annoying because when you're attacking, it uh, prioritizes uh, a player over the NPC. So say if you were swinging at an NPC, trying to get the kill, get the XP, get the ball, whatever you need to do, it'll turn its focus on to the player who walks in your view, which gets really annoying. Like, you know, you're working hard to get this guy, you want to get him and then move over, but it forces you to do it, so that's a little annoying. Now... When it comes to, say, you're using your super, you could use the C stick to change where you want to aim that. So why couldn't they do that, though, for your main attack and your, you know, super? Like, you know, I, I feel like that's just part of me that says, you know, all right, that's, that's whatever. It's, it is what it is. Now, another part of the game, though. Uh, so that's really more or less the controls. Like, you move around with the, the analog stick. You are kind of slow, but you have, like, a nice little speed boost in your zones. But let's talk about now the actual gameplay. So you start a game. You, you boot up. You're in the game now. You did the tutorial. You pick who you want. It's a very, it's a nice small group of characters right now. They have a few on the way, and you get a free one for just signing in before August. I forgot what day it was, but I know it's August, so it's a nice game. You've got your ranged. You've got your all around. You've got your, like, defense. You've got your supports. All great stuff. Myself, personally, I always like my Cinderace and Ninetales because Cinderace is a fast attacker. And Ninetales freezes opponents, but I won't talk too much about the characters. You'll have to experience it for yourself. I can't tell you, like, oh, this character's great, but you might play different from me. So you pick your team, and you want to divide up evenly. Like, you want to maybe do two people up top, two people on the bottom, and maybe have someone jungling around a little bit, like a normal MOBA. 
Uh, playing a few games, you do realize people, unfortunately, these are a lot of casual fans, so, you know, you're not really, too many people aren't really into MOBAs like that, so you have to find the right group of people to play with. But you go off, you start off, so say if you were like a Cinderace, you start off as your pre-evolution score bunny, and you work your way up to that Cinderace progressively getting stronger, which is really cool. You got a nice little evolution in there that's part of, you know, Pokemon. You don't just start off as, you know, Cinderace and go up. So that's, I like that part. Uh, when it comes to gameplay, so it's definitely a uh, hit or miss. It definitely, um, so you have to attack the towers and score points. Now, when you score points, you know, you're, hitting, you're sitting there holding X to kick in whatever, like, energy you gathered from defeating other Pokemon. Now, here's where the part gets a little interesting, because, you know, you can get disrupted very easily, so you have to, like, really plan when you want to go in. It's a lot of team-based, so you definitely need, like, a good... You, it's hard to play with randoms, so you do need to have, like, a good team, but playing with uh, randoms is not too bad either. So, you really got to learn your roles when you play the game. Uh, big, the big part here, too, as well, is just you have to learn how to defeat the jungle, too. So you, there's a few other like buffs you really want to worry about. There's the Rotom, who gives you free points on top. There's Dreadnought on the bottom, who gives you a nice boost. Uh, there's two Buffalants, who give you like an attack boost, and Ludicolos, that give you a uh, boost uh, whenever you attack someone with low HP. So those are some nice buffs if you really are looking to find out where you're going. But the real big one here is Zapdos. Now, Zapdos, if you defeat Zapdos, you get double points for any points you score, which really changes the game, which also kind of makes it a little unfair. Because say if your team has really got a good lead on, and then, like, you know, they happen to get the Zapdos, and they start scoring like crazy, you can lose everything. Like, you were dominating the whole game, all, like, 90% of the game, and then that last, like, 10% of the game, or even, we'll call it 5%, they just come back because of the Zapdos. I find that to be a little unfair. So hopefully later down the road, they will reduce that a little bit to make it a little more fair, because that's uh, it seems a little unfair. Now, <clears throat> when my thoughts come to it now towards the game, I re like I said, I really like it. I'm not a MOBA person, but there's definitely still a lot of flaws. So why don't we, we'll do plus negatives here on this. Uh, some pluses here. Like I said, easy gameplay, nothing too crazy. It's characters you know and love. Some people, you know, you, you can easily jump in and get into it. A few cons, though, is like I said, the targeting and just, you know, the Zapdos part is of unbalancing. Now, when you get into the real meat of it, though, like you really got a team and you're going like, it seems really fun, it's really easy, it's free to play, but the only issue I'm seeing is, you know, they really have to keep up with it. They, they got to keep this theme rolling. Like, we see so many games kind of fall off. Like, Among Us is kind of gone now. Fall Guys has definitely fallen off. Uh, like, these popular games, like, the reason why Minecraft is stuck around so much is they keep updating it. Grand Theft Auto V, they're still updating the online service, so people are wanting to go to it. And so I'm hoping that people with Pokemon Unite, they'll keep doing stuff. Like, they have new characters on the way with Venusaur, and I saw Gardevoir, we're supposed to be coming in into the early fray. So why don't we talk about now, that was kind of more of the gameplay, let's talk about the main menu hood. The main menu is a little weird. So, for starters, like, you have your battle pass, you have, like, your collectibles, your levels, and all that stuff. But we got to talk about the real issue I hear, I, I find, is the friend system. So, with the friend system, you have, to, you have to friend, again, like, the people you have on your Switch in the Pokemon Unite. You can't just use your friends list from your not Nintendo Switch Online, which is a little annoying. So, I'm not a big fan of that. Next, and then there's also the held item thing. Uh, that's a good thing to have, but it also makes it unfair. So, say if you're playing with people who don't have items held on the certain Pokemon, you get an unfair advantage there, and it's kind of weird. So, you definitely got to work on that a little bit with the balancing. Uh, besides that, all in all, I think it's a great game. I think they need to uh, make sure they keep updating it and just, like, you know, minor fixes. Like, you know, like I said, the friend system, I think they should have integrated uh, the... The targeting they need to work on, and a bit of balancing. Now, before I go any deeper into kind of like my final review and thoughts, I want to talk about some of the characters. I'm going to talk about some of the big ones. Unfortunately, I don't remember all of them because I haven't played with all of them. Like, I haven't played with Mr. Mime. He seems like a good support character. Uh, Eldegoss. I haven't tried any of them yet. But uh, Snorlax, Slowbro are really good defenders. 
And I find that to be, that, that's not my play style, so that's good if anyone can do that. Uh, like I said, I'm more of a Cinderace, uh, Nine Tails. I prefer those kind of playing, like maybe Cromorant and whatnot. But I, I feel like some of the character balancing is a little off because Zorora, he's really quick at like killing, and Gengar does high, high damage. And if you're playing Garchomp correctly, so there's a, there's a lot of ups and downs here. But not to drag on because it seems like I'm kind of drawing a circle in the sand now. Let's go, we'll give my final thoughts. Like I said, this isn't supposed to be long, in-depth thoughts. But for my final thoughts, I think if it's going to be a system out of 10, and I will give this game a 7 out of 10. I say 7 because, yet again, I'm going to continue drawing my circles. The targeting's a little off. The main menu UI is a little wonky and a little bit of balancing issues. But they have a lot of pros against the cons here. I feel like, like I said, an easy to pick up and play game. You can get your friends in. And it's just a very simple, very fun game. I do recommend you give it a try. And that's just, a, it's just something you have to try once. Like, if you don't like it, you don't like it. But don't try to sink too much money into it. It's a fun, free-to-play game. I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts. Make sure to check us out live on Twitch. Check out our content on YouTube. And make sure to follow us on everything else. And we'll happily talk more about anything you'd like to talk about. My name is Sam, and this has been On the Couch.